Hey guys and welcome to my new movie review for The Kitchen. This came out this year, 2019. It is MA15 plus and it goes for one hour and 42 minutes. It's a action crime drama and it's directed by Andrea Barloff. Now the cast of this movie is the beautiful, the wonderful, the hilarious Melissa McCarthy, who plays the, the role of Kathy. You also have Tiffany Haddish, who plays the role of Ruby. And Elizabeth Moss, who plays Claire. Now guys, if anyone's been following me for any period of time, you know that I like to talk about the bad stuff about movies first, get that over and done with, and then I like to talk about the good stuff. And straight off the bat, guys, I just want to say, like, for real, I the the biggest problem with this movie that I found, and in, in, I, the more I was watching it, the more I thought to myself, maybe it's deliberate. Maybe that's a deliberate choice, it's like that. But I could be wrong, and I don't really know, and I kind of wish I knew. But, oh, actually, something else I wanted to tell you about. Uh, another person that's in this film that has a, quite a big role that I was a little bit surprised at was... Domol Gleason. I actually can't. I don't know how to pronounce his first name. It's Domol. Anyway, this is his face here, guys. And he plays. Uh, he plays Gabriel in this movie. Now, I just want to say, as I said straight off the bat, guys, one thing that I was just, I just didn't find. How's what's the word? I felt like her character didn't fit with the rest of the film. And it was, I don't know, I don't even know why, but it just something about the way she, the, her mannerisms towards the film, it was almost like she was just trying so hard to be this, the, the specific character that she kind of fell out of the film in doing it. And it was Tiffany Haddish. Now, I'm a fan of her. I think she's funny, especially her in Night School with Kevin Hart. She was, they, that was a real, I love that movie. That movie is absolutely hilarious. But this, I don't know what it was. I felt like the movie could have been a little bit shorter. I felt like an hour and 42 minutes was actually a little bit long. There was a couple of scenes that I found myself not, 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 not wandering off, but like, just like, it's really hard to explain. It just, there was a few scenes that were just, you could have done without. And it was like, it could have probably realistically made the movie a little bit better if you had have taken those scenes out of the movie. But other than that, look, I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've heard a lot of really, really, really negative views and really negative, really a lot of negative stuff about this, this film. And to my surprise, it's not that bad. I mean, it's really, really not that bad. This is not... This movie isn't as bad as I, I, I've heard about. I, I don't want to name names. I don't want to drop anyone's name because I don't like to do that. Uh, people who said gave really bad reviews. But, guys, this is pretty good film. It really is. It's not as badass as you think it is. In fact, there's not... There, there, there's not really a climax to the film. And if there is, the scene that I'm thinking of was just, it's just, it's not really, it's nothing to, to really go wow about, like it's really not, like it's, it's really hard to talk about guys, I know, because it's not, it's just not a train wreck, it's really not, it's not a train wreck film in any, in any way, shape or form, but it's not something that, it's, If those who've been following me for any period of time knows I love the word rewatchability, and it does, but it doesn't. And you're like, wait, how does that make sense? It does because of Melissa McCarthy's character. She's brilliant. She's wonderful in this film, guys. She's so lovely. She's she she really does own the film in every sense of the word. But the other characters, and especially what happens to Claire in this film. Her Claire is just who plays by um, Elizabeth Moss. Far out, man! It's it breaks your heart. But then she gets she gets 
she gets a, a a a gift if you if you would I don't know if you call it a gift but she gets some she gets rewarded she gets rewarded and then her character I'm not going to spoil anything but uh, her character uh, yeah I'm not, I'll shut up <laughs> I don't want to say anything uh, God look God I don't know if I'd re I I don't know if I'd recommend you watch this because of Tiffany Haddish's character but. In terms of Melissa McCarthy's role, I loved it. That I just she has facial expressions in this movie that I just wanted to pinch her cheeks. <laughs> I know <laughs> I just did. I just there was moments in this movie that I just really wanted to pinch Melissa McCarthy's cheeks and be like, "Oh, you are so cute! Oh, you are so cute!" I uh, know that sounds so stupid, but it's, it's, it's the absolute truth. Guys, anyone who's followed me for any period of time knows I love movie trivia, so here's your movie trivia, guys. So this is actually Andrea Barloff's, I think it's Barloff, her uh, directorial debut. And to be honest with you, for a directorial debut, she did a really, really, really great job in my opinion. So I have no idea what this is. I have literally absolutely no clue at all what this is. But ap apparently this film is based on the... Vertigo comic. I don't know what that is. I'll, I can pretend to, but I have absolutely no what that no idea what that is. But there you go, the Vertigo comic. You're welcome. I think this is the biggest reason why I didn't like Tiffany Haddish in this movie, because this is actually her first major drama production for Tiffany Haddish. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe she just can't play a serious role. Maybe I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it is, guys, but her character, I just didn't buy it. I didn't, she didn't, I didn't buy it one second. I, did, I didn't like it at all in any way, shape, or form. And that's maybe what it was. She was just so serious that it was like stupid serious. But anyway. So this film was actually filmed in East, uh, East Harlem and South Bronx, which was made to look like the uh, Hell's Kitchen in the 1970s. They did a good job. They did a really good job. I wouldn't have spent that money on this movie, but however much it took to to transform it. But hey, it paid off. I think it did a really good job. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this movie review. Have you seen Hell's Kitchen? Let me know. You probably haven't. I'd be surprised if you have, actually, because it's such a small movie. But let me know in the comment section below if you what you thought about Hell's Kitchen. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Please leave a like on this movie review. I really appreciate that. Until my next review, this is Superman Steve flying off.